we're here this afternoon on the state's motion to interview juror SF230. I've had the opportunity to review the state's motion as well as the uh, defense response. Before we get into it, there is uh, another matter that I need to place on the record. Yesterday, after the verdict was read and after I left the bench to go back to my office, the bailiffs advised me that there were two jurors that wanted to speak to me, Ms. Kunha and Mr. Binbao. I, of course, told them that that's not appropriate. I cannot speak to a juror. Then Mr. Binbao asked if there was a complaint form that he could fill out. And my answer was no. And I didn't think any more of it because I had no idea what he would be complaining about. Um, I didn't foresee that it was something about the trial. I thought maybe he was upset about, I don't know, parking or having to wait so long. I wasn't really sure. So I found out later that actually Mr. Binbao was trying to get my attention either during or directly after the verdict was being read. And he was saying, I need to talk to the judge. I need to talk to the judge. And I was not informed of that. And I did not see him. Um, the bailiffs did not want him to interrupt me. So I wasn't made aware of that. And they gave him a post-it with a pen. And then they were excused. So. That's the order that I received the information, even though, even though the order in which it happened was he tried to get my attention while we were in court. I didn't see him, and he asked to speak to me, from what I understand, a couple of times. Uh, with that, um, I, have, I, I just wanted all of the parties to be aware of exactly what happened with Mr. Benbow. Now... As far as the state's motion is concerned, I don't think the statutory requirements have been met because I don't think the state has alleged that the verdict could be subject to legal challenge. However, if there was a crime that was potentially committed in the Broward County Courthouse in the jury room, I think that if the sheriff were to look into it, that that would be entirely appropriate under the circumstances. Yes, Your Honor. May I uh, address the court? Sh sure. Uh, good afternoon. First of all, Your Honor, the reason the state filed the motion is that we are not seeking to set aside the verdict. Okay. This motion was filed for safety reasons. Okay. Uh, we do not have an ulterior motive, so I want to put everyone's uh, concerns aside. Um, however, an allegation by a juror where they leave a message that they have received um, what they have perceived to be a threat from a fellow juror in the jury room uh, cannot be ignored. This is a safety issue. I repeat, we are not trying to set aside the verdict, but uh, a prosecutor cannot ignore a phone call that a threat has been made and that the person is frightened. And the re reason I use the word frightened is that the support staff member who took the call said that the person who left the message was upset and then said that they seemed frightened. I did not put that in our pleading because I did not want to editorialize on the information, on the message that was conveyed. I tried to keep it factual. But if a crime, if a crime was committed in the jury room, and we do not know that, and it may be nothing, but it may be something, there is no immunity for a crime that could have occurred in a jury room. The fact that it happened in a jury room does not confer immunity on, on what uh, crime could have been committed back there and it needs to be looked into. Now, the fact that they came to us, we would normally be able to you know, have an investigator talk to someone who makes a complaint to us, 
We could have, she's asked that we return the phone call. We know we cannot do that. And that the only vehicle to bring this to the courts and the party's attention is to file this motion. And we have asked an uninterested party, which would be law enforcement, to speak to the juror. Frankly, we don't want to touch this with a 10-foot pole. I understand. Because we know that the defense will be jumping up and down and saying that we are trying to undermine verdict, which we are not trying to do. So the only reason we're doing this is that we cannot ignore a safety issue. I agree. And certainly if there were people doing things that they were not supposed to be doing, we need to be made aware of it. Not that it's going to change the outcome, but certainly um, that shouldn't happen and people shouldn't be hesitant to serve on juries in the future if they hear that jurors are not required to exhibit appropriate behavior during the deliberation. And I would like to just put something else on the record too, Your Honor, just to dispel any um, speculation, and this will all be made uh, part of uh, the conversation on headphones, that the juror who left the message is not the same juror, is not the same juror who left you a note which was made a part of the court file. It's a different juror. And it's not Mr. Benbow. I mean, their it names is, are public record, which is why I'm using them It is not now. Mr. Benbow. Okay. And it, it is not the juror whose name, uh, whose, record, whose note was made part of the court file yesterday. It's a different juror. Okay. I mean, I, I don't really think there's anything else to discuss. Um, the sheriff's office has jurisdiction. They've been made aware of the situation, and um, they can do or not do with this. I mean, I'm not going to order them to investigate it, but I think that certainly if that's a matter that they feel is appropriate for a criminal investigation, that's what they should do. Uh, Your Honor, can you, will you give us permission, it, it was a phone message, um, permission to turn over the name to the court so that you can turn it over to law enforcement? Absolutely. You want to do that on headphones or, or we can give it directly? Why don't you give it directly? I know that there is Sergeant, I called him Lieutenant the other day. He's so professional that I just, I gave him a promotion. Uh, Sergeant Hendricks is here, and I'm sure he's our point person that he'd be happy to receive the information and pass it along. You know, we call him Jason. Okay. All right. Thank you. We're in recess. Thank you, Your Honor.